Hey y'all. Alright, so, um, sorry I have to set this the right way. So, um, Doug and I were discussing how to do something with glow pigment and, um, all he had was, um, this, uh, bright, bright green one. The one he posted a picture of. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, well, I wonder if we could dilute it with this or whatever else. And in the process, <laughs> um, in the process, I started thinking my chemistry brain, like, hmm, chemistry, 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 what's it made up of? Well, it's made up of fluorosphate. I can't say that word. Anyways, so I started thinking, well, the glow medium stuff that I have has that in it and it's made with acrylic paint and acrylic paint and the latex doesn't go with water so water will separate it and guess what i made glow pigment so anyways i'm going to show y'all how i did it because this is what happens out of it It's glowing, and that's epoxy in it. Um, anyway, sorry if I uh, talk like I'm on a like tutorial thing because I forget I'm live. So if y'all have questions as we go along, I am going to add Doug into this because literally we were on the phone while I was um, testing out this this thought process of my chemic brain, um, and so we kind of did it together. Uh, cause it was for him, but I came up with it. Um, so what I've got is I've got a freaking pitcher of water. Okay. I'm going to turn this now and I'm going to add Doug to it. Hold on one second. Let me figure out how I, uh, mm, mm, trying to figure it out. Hold on guys. Okay. There we go. So Doug's either going to read the question off to me or um, answer the question because I can't exactly like read the questions while I'm, um, while I'm doing this because it's kind of difficult. Hi, Jamie. Kind of waiting for Doug to get on here. I know he was going to plug his phone in. Okay, well, real quick, I have a pitcher of water, and I ran to Walmart, and I got, like, multiple different types of glow-in-the-dark paint. Okay, so I got, like, the pink glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint, and then I got glow-in-the-dark body paint. Hey, Mercedes. And I got glow-in-the-dark um, fabric puffy paint, and then I got the neutral glow-in-the-dark paint. Okay. So my whole purpose in getting all the different kinds was I figured we could like do this all together and kill like five birds with one stone. And then that way I can tell y'all whether or not like certain types will work with this or not. Hey guys, still waiting on Doug here. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna call him on the phone real quick and tell him to get his butt on here. Okay, there he goes. Sorry, I'm... I'm telling him, I sent him Uh, Mercedes, my epoxy, I get it from Promarine. Excuse my uh, voice here. I get it from Promarine, uh, promarinesupplies.com, I believe. Um, but if you go, I think in this group, um, Maureen, if you're still on here, I don't know if it was in this group or, um, okay, here we go. Uh, or 
I posted my ProMarine um, link with a coupon code that you guys can get a coupon or um, 10% off. So, um, Amy, you will figure that out in just a second. I'll show you why it looks like that. Mm. Okay, um, I'm trying, Doug, but it's saying that someone else is in pro Okay, here we go. No, it's still not letting me. Is that working? Doug, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sweet deal. Um, no, Amy, it's okay. That was actually, um, that was the first test of this, okay? So, uh, yes, I'm in the dark. <laughs> I, I got my phone charging. Doug doesn't like being on camera. So he's just here to answer questions, guys. <laughs> okay. So my pitcher of water, I'm going to take, and I'm going to take a little clear plastic cup, and I'm going to fill each one with water. Halfway with water, guys. I'm naked. Okay. So, Amy, I'm stirring this up and it looks like milk. Mercedes, am I hard to hear or is Doug? All right. Um, so, guys, I'm... I'm stirring all of this up in the water. Doug, you're stuck. Um, you're ruining said, it. Look. No, they say both of us are. I'm sorry if are I, I'm hard to hear. I have really bad uh, laryngitis type thing going on. And I'm having a growth spurt. Shut up. Okay, so I'm mixing the paint into the water, guys. And mixing it really, really good. And whenever you start mixing it, you'll hear like a sandy sound on the bottom. No, Marie, she she has a cold. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Hold on. Let me bring it closer and see if you guys can hear me better. Because I have a really bad cold, so it's kind of like killing me. Okay, can you hear me better? I'm sorry. Yeah, she's been sounding like Barry White for the last week. Shut up. Okay, so I've mixed um, I've mixed the, all of the body paint into this water, okay? And now I'm going to set this one to side. And I'm going to take my next one and uh, wipe off my, my stir stick paintbrush here. Now I'm going to take the pink glow paint <clears throat> and I'm going to pour that one in here. And Amy, if you're still here, um, this is why it looked like milk. Because the the neutral uh, the neutral paint is really milky color whenever you add water into it. If you guys look, 
the chemistry part of this right here, okay, is the water and the paint separate. Because uh, it's because of the latex and the paint, water and latex don't mix together very well. So now I'm spinning this one up. And it looks like, it looks like it's all adding together. But it's really not. Okay, so that's that one. And I'm going to set these colors behind it so we know which one's which. Uh, Leslie, she's actually making I am literally uh, glow pop. Yeah, I'm literally making uh, like glow pigment here. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Doug. I'll let you answer the damn questions because I got lost there for a second. Forgot you were there because you're so dark. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, um, why has it got to be the black and dark? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. I'm, I'm white as hell. You can see me everywhere. Yeah, I know. Still love you like a play cousin, so. Um, okay, the next one I'm going to add and try is the uh, fabric puffy paint, if I can get the stupid cap off. Wow, I'm smart enough chemist to figure this out, but I can't figure out how to get the stupid cap off this shit. Excuse my language. Hey, is this static only when I yes. come on, y'all, or, or what? Because I can hear it, too. <laughs> well, I says I'm going to drop off then. No, it's... I'm going to drop off the line. No, it's fine. I'm just going to work, and you're going to hold on, or you're going to sit there. Yes, mama. Okay, this is the fabric paint one. Can y'all hear me? Cindy, she's making glow powder. Like the epoxy pigment stuff? I'm harvesting it. That's actually technically what it's called. If you want to go chemistry status, it's harvesting the pigments out of the, um, out of the paint. This one's the fabric puffy paint, and I don't know that it's going to work as well because it doesn't have as much latex in it because it goes on to, like, fabric or whatever. We may not get much out of it, but I figured I'd try it just in case anybody ever asked, hey, does it work with this? All right. Last but not least, this is just the neutral, and the reason I did this whole entire deal was for Doug to try and figure out if we could find a way to cheaply burst or boost the purple glow stuff that he's got now because it's not bright enough for what the customer wants. So we were trying to figure out an easy, quick way of, um, of enhancing the glow. And that's why I can't, that's how I came up with this whole thing was because Doug needed to find a way to do it because he went to Big Brain Graphics and spent how much, Doug? $104.50. the same color. And then another $20.50 on a, a graphic. And you know what I spent? I spent... Um, sixteen dollars, and that's paint and um, container to put the water in, cups. <sighs> Holy moly! All right, guys, get ready for this because <clears throat> let me tell you, I let this stuff sit earlier because I tried it first before I um. <laughs> I tried it first before I did this live thing because I wanted to make sure it worked. Because if any of y'all watch me on YouTube, you know that I always I always test things and try them before I show you guys because I'm not gonna sit here and show you something that's not gonna put the work. That's stupid. So Hold on. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to 
I told her the same thing, what, two days Hold ago. On. Just a second. Give me like 30 seconds. I'm going to go grab some uh, straight lemon juice because it works for me normally and I forgot. <laughs> hey, y'all. I think I might be coming through staticky because my phone is about to die. I got it on charger right now, so. It's a Galaxy S7, so. <clears throat> All right, is that better? Yes. Is it better? For the most part? For the most part, yes. So, I'm going to do this one first because I'm excited about the hot pink. All right. So whenever I start to pour this stuff, just pay attention to the bottom. Whenever the water comes out. Hold on. You see all this stuff on the bottom? That right there is harvested now, what is even better about this is just of this gonna slide and add more water to this one. And then I'm gonna pour half of this one back in here. And I'm gonna set it down and the more times that you add the water, <coughs> the more times that you add the water and then take the top half, top layer of the water out and then add more clear water, take the top half out, back and forth, back and forth, eventually it will go from straight white like this to more of a, I don't know if you can see this right here because the Pyrex is, but it's like more cloudy than it is white over here. Like, if you can see this right here, there's still a bunch of pigment coming off. I got a little more container, and that was done like an hour ago or so. Hey, Marshall. 
the whole bottom. She's harvesting really quick, and then Doug, I'll let you answer that that. the whole bottom. That's all the glow pigment. And for this little thing of epoxy right here, it was like a, a just a tiny little squirt of um <clears throat> of epoxy, and then like literally like I took my fingernail and dipped it in the glow stuff and put it in there and mixed it up. So it's itty bitty 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 amount. Go ahead, Doug. Yeah, Marshall, she's actually harvesting uh, glow pigments. From your everyday paint. Yeah, from everyday paint. So basically, she tried to make you say that uh, I was a fool to spend $104.50 on glow yes, paint. Yes, that is my absolute whole entire point of this live, for real, was that he was retarded because all he had to do was call his sister here, and I could have, like, figured this out. And how long did it take me to figure this out? Uh, 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 what, five minutes? Yeah, about five, ten minutes or so. So, the longer you let the stuff sit in the water, the more you're going to get out of it. Like, this is all the pink pigment stuff right here. And it's all glow. This is all the glow pigment. Like, that stuff that we spend, um... Like this little tiny container of regular glow pigment is like four dollars, and I just made I can make all of this with six dollars. That's a good question, Angela. Um, so she just came up with the idea less than an hour ago, so I'm not sure how she's going to store this. Um, my thought was would be hold on. I did think about this while I was at the store. And now we'll have to see if this actually will store overnight because like Doug said, we only figured this out about an hour ago. <clears throat> but these little containers, you can buy them at Dollar or at um, at Hobby Lobby, a pack of them, like a pack of like 10 of them for like $2.99 or $3.99 or something. And they have these suction lids they're the same kind of thing that the um, pigments come in. And my thought was, was that I would leave a, just a smidge of water in it still so that it didn't completely dry out. But I'm going to test it out as far as like storing it. I'm going to leave some water in one of them and then just a pinch of water in another and no water in another one. Does that sound like a good way to test it, Doug? That sounds awesome. So, yeah, I think that's how we're going to test this. Um, now, to get the pigment out of the plastic cup, though, you got to put water in it. <laughs> and stir it up really quick. But I want to leave some of my big enough containers here. And before we get out, before we end this live thing, I'm going to put it in epoxy so I can show you guys that this is all I use for that little video going to the Hey sis, me and Angela Phyllis Brown are going to get married. She's going to take care of my finances so I don't go blow her money again. You and who's going to go get married? Angela Phyllis Brown. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Maybe she can keep your uh, your happy wallet in your happy pants. <laughs> she must be gone. She didn't respond. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Who was telling who I needed to learn to save money and you're going and spending that kind of money on pigments? Angela, did you not hear what I said? She said, totally off topic, but I got my turn today. I can't wait till I can spend some time with it. Thank you, Miranda. Well, you know what? You can uh, spend some time with my wallet and keep it safe. Oh, yeah, Doug. Did you put yours together? I didn't have time. I had a cup emergency. Really? Really? A cup emergency? Yeah, I did. I, for real, I did. I told you I was you know that I told you I had that glow. Had like 30. 
Well, remember I told you I had that cup on the turner? Well, I went in there and I looked, and the turner had stopped, and the heater was still on the cup. And a glitter cup, I, I've never seen a glitter cup start turning brown, uh, turning black. That's weird. And it had, like, nipples on it and everything. So I had to break out my Dremel and, and uh, Dremel it down. How long had it been on the turner? Uh, I guess going on like a couple of hours, I guess. Oh, all right, then that wouldn't work. I was gonna say you could have just heated it up really, really good, and then. Oh no, no, I tried that. Trust me, I tried that. Cause I hate breaking out the drum and did have to put like another layer of a, uh, of um, glitter on it. You know I hate glitter. You know I hate I know. glitter. Okay, so the way that I'm having to get. Yes, Angela Phillips, I was playing with glitter again. The way I'm I look like is... I just got home from the strip club. <laughs> hey. Oh, yes. It, it's, it's, that's, that's, Sorry. I mean, that's right up your alley, you know. Shut up. I can't, I can, I can go to the strip club, but I just can't stand to have them dance on me. I used to go to strip clubs all the time with I my guy to... best friend. I can't, I can't stand to have them dance on me unless they just started their shifts. Otherwise, uh-uh. So, I'm uh -uh, having to use my like silicone, my smaller beads. old silicone brush to get the pigments off the bottom of this. To put it in these little cups. So, I suggest if you try this at home, to use something that has a lid already. Because this is kind of a pain in the ass to get out here. Well, go ahead and spend $104.50. You don't have to worry about it. I would rather spend 30 minutes doing this. I would rather sit here with my fingernails and get it out than I would uh, spend that much money on something stupid. <laughs> but I love you anyways. <laughs> oh. um, and no, Angela, I do not love it. I hate glitter. I freaking hate glitter. It gets all in my carpet, it gets on my floor, it gets on me. I go to the bathroom, about to brush my teeth, and what I see on my forehead? Glitter. You know what? <sighs> Doug, did I ever tell you about how um, my niece pooped glitter? No. Because she would drop her binky on the ground, and then she would pick it back up and put it in her mouth. Ew. Oh, yeah. So this is like the other cup because I keep switching cups back and forth with water and I'm still getting pigments out of here. Tons of it. By the way. I mean, right now we're up to about the water. A quarter of this little container, which is about what I got in that little, tiny little container over there. And, by the way, it's normal for it to be liquidy. Okay. So, so if, go ahead. if you put a, a, a heat gun to it... You think it would dry the water out and make it a powder? You know what? Let's try it. Because I have a little container here that's still got some in it. Hold on. One second. <clears throat> I can't do it too close because it's a plastic cup. Oh, okay. So I have to wait until you have like a silicone mold or something. There, you know what? Let me put it in one of my silicone pinch bowls and we'll try it. Angel says, do you think letting it dry out would make it easier to get at? Well... Letting it dry out would literally mean putting it somewhere where the water would evaporate completely. The paint 
Um, this thing of paint at Walmart was a dollar seventy nine. A dollar. A dollar seventy nine. Oh, you got the expensive. If you go to like Joanne's or Hobby Lobby, they always have like the three for ninety nine or the three for something um, of the bulk cart. So I don't know. What's up, brother Jay? The one thing I have learned is you have to get the, you have to mix it and get it pretty quick to get the pigment out of the plastic cup though. And now we're going to pour some water back in another cup so that we can try and get this pigment out of, into the bowl. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, Jay, uh, Miranda was like mad scientist us and went to Walmart to prove a point that uh, I was crazy to spend so much money. Where I spent $104.50, she spent $16. Okay, so I just want to show you guys this is the pigment stuff on my finger. So true, Angela. I didn't think that. <laughs> For real, because I mean, well, if you gives you a cup, I mean, use, spending a dollar seventy nine and about thirty minutes. I'm doing this all slow and like, like strategically for you guys. But I did this really quick earlier for Doug and. And I managed to do it all in like you know, 20 minutes or so. And if you're going to put it on a cup, just quickly do it and then add your epoxy right on the. Because I probably could have started with a silicone bowl and done it like that and just poured all the paint in and then dumped the water out and then just added the epoxy. Okay, so that's what I have left in my bowl. I mean, if I add my part A, a couple squirts my part A to that right there, that'd be enough to do a cup. So, that's true, Jerry. I'm going to add one, two, three squirts of A, and then we're going to mix it up. Hey, Jared is saying that boiling the water out will make the process easier. Yeah, probably, but I wasn't thinking that at the time. I was thinking about how to prove Doug spent way too much money on the same color pigment for something that is way too luminous for what he needed it for. <laughs> I'm not going to live this down, am I? Nope. <laughs> Seriously, can you just pay me the hundred and some odd dollars? Well, not anymore. <laughs> no, Angela, the water didn't affect the epoxy because I got 99% of the water out of the pigment before I put the epoxy in. This is what, I mean, here's my epoxy one earlier and that's like there's one. See, Doug, and imagine if you add this stuff to your purple do I need to go get my prints uh my Prince coaster and show you up. Show us. It, well, it's a beautiful coaster, don't get me wrong, but it's way too luminous for what you needed it for. 
Yeah, it's way too expensive too when I do a cost breakdown. Yeah. Very much so. It took me two grams of that hundred and four dollars and fifty cent <laughs> epoxy to do half of one coaster just enough so I can put uh, the picture of Prince on it, and now I have to go mix more epoxy to put it on top for a clear coat. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! So it's going to take me literally one of those cups, one of those Dixie cups of epoxy to make one um, coaster. Okay, I'm going to officially say that do not use the um, body paint, okay? It's clumpy and it doesn't. The clumps aren't coming out like where they're pigment. It's not gonna. It's not changing from the liquid to the solid. So do not use body paint. So that's a no on that. The I'm letting my epoxy over here sit, and then I'm gonna put it on a white cup because I want to see what it does. I'm thinking, yes, I do have a messed up white cup that I can use. And what I was the puffy paint, by the way, the puffy paint, it does work, but it doesn't give off as much. So as of right now, folk art glow paint is what we're going with. by the way. And the longer you let it sit, the more that settles to the bottom. It's pretty bad, yeah. So I admit I could have spent a dollar, got some water out of the faucet, <sighs> and made this stuff on my own. Oh, yes, yes. A dollar yes, for sir. the wool paint. Or you could have just called me before you spent all that money. I'm really good at talking people out of spending money. My brother Jay. Excuse me. Good gracious. Shut up. You been eating you been eating pinto beans? <laughs> no, I'm over here eating talkies though. Eating what? Talkies. What's that? Oh, there's those chips from uh, Asia? I don't know. They're my favorite chips in the world, though. Y'all notice when she's on YouTube, she's so sweet and stuff. Don't let her representative fool Shut you. Shut up. I'm still sweet. I'm just uh, in, I'm, I'm in an in-your-face mode. Because I think it's hilarious that I figured this out and you spent all that money and there's no return policy. <laughs> oh. Oh, Lord. I would just make glow in the dark cups, just paint them white. And sell them for like, like twenty five dollars for a twenty ounce. Heck yeah! Maybe throw some kind of stupid saying on it. Oh, Angela, thank you. I am sweet as pie, aren't I? Ha <laughs> ha. Amy, that's hilarious because my kids are the same way. My goddaughter, literally, I went to Sam's Club and there's like a flat of like. 50 bags of talkies in this box and she threw it in the cart and was like please ta-da and I was like oh my god okay and then I ate half the box taking that baby's chips oh there. she ain't no baby she's almost 13 still a baby
Teen is not behind the last part of her age, is it? What? That means she's still a baby. If teen isn't behind the last part of her age, that means she's still a baby. I'm, I'm, I don't even want to think about all that because my oldest is a, is 18 and about to graduate high school. It means you old. Amy, I think they upped the price of Takis because all of a sudden, like, a bag like that is, like, $4.99, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous, because a big, huge bag of Doritos is that much. I guess I need to figure out how to make so Takis, huh? Ugh. I'm, I'm, my cleaning people need to come back tomorrow. I think I'm going to have to call them to come back. Why? Can you still not find your motor? No, actually I can't. <laughs> but laying here in the bed, I got a roll of heat transfer vinyl. I got the box that that Turner came in. I got a black light. Oh, yeah. I got a wireless charger. I like how this stuff glows without the black light, too. Well, why don't wash my blankets when they come clean that crap up, then? Do it your damn self. But somebody forced me to get on this live. Yeah. So they can chastise me. Well, I don't like doing lives either, but I'm doing it because I'm doing it for all these amazing people <laughs> who will probably watch this tomorrow. Oh, Lord. She's trying to be sweet. Ugh. Hey, I am sweet. I just am very blunt and bold, too. All right. Um, let's heat this up, and I'm going to put it on the cup now. Good night, Angela. Good night, Angela. Yes, please send me a picture. Yeah, it's my Randa. I am my Randa. That's why my mom spelt it that way. You know, she's a, you know, she's a hick from Texas, my Randa. Hey, I ain't from Texas. I'm from Bakersfield, Cali. I know you're a Cali girl. You're an implant from... Cali, but you're a Texan now. Well, I am an implant from like the hickest Hickville part of California. It's the armpit of California. Over there in Bakersfield, California, where everybody there is from like Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, all of them. But that's okay because Bakersfield produces rock stars and professional athletes like my cousins. I'm letting my boxes sit for a while because I wanted it to be thick when I put it on the cup so it would like, you know, not all over the place because I ain't got no gloves on over here. I ain't got no gloves on. What kind of English is that? Hey. Maybe oh, smart, I, got no but on. I talk like a hick. It's hard for me not to. I've always talked like that. And then people are like, how the heck did you graduate with a 4.1 talking like that? I said, because I know how to rope the stuff the right way, but I don't know how to spoke it. How to spoke it? Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I'm also just being a dork because I'm tired and I'm excited about this because it means that my brain didn't completely get fried by all the mess. No. We didn't. Kind of sort of glad. Every once in a while, I kind of sort of like, it, like you being around. Yeah, uh, all of a sudden. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm the coolest. See, I can't say all the time. Hey, at first I thought I can't say all the time because me and you be all at first I thought conceited you were just and stuff. Dude, whenever you're saying happy birthday to me, and I'm like, who the hell is telling me happy birthday and calling me sis? I don't know who this fool is. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, look, woman. I was trying to be nice because you posted it was your birthday. It was, and I don't do nothing for my birthday. Not a damn thing. All righty, so I put epoxy on this. Shall we uh, turn off the lights and see if it glows? Yes, please. Okay, Let's see if your theory works out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to turn off all these little lights in my garage. You sounded like Prince. What? You sounded like Prince. I don't know if I... I don't know if uh, it's in the light or if it was lit up enough or if I was <clears throat> on it. Oh, yeah, I did. Hold on. Ah, I still have a light on. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I would say that definitely do cold girl or cold. Everything is dark, and yes, the screen on this side is more of a whiter screen because this is the usual color, guys. I can't. Can you see the cup? Yeah, I can see it when you bounce with it. That's what I'm doing. I'm spinning it around. It's completely dark in here, and this is on white with the neutral glow stuff that I did with the pigment. It is like pitch black in my garage right now. I can't even see my hand. You suck. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! If you guys can see me right now, I'm doing a half dance. Nobody encourage her, please. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. So she basically just created glow pigment. Yes, I did. For less than $2. So you want to go back to uh, uh, the Shreveport for me <laughs> and take this stuff back? Nope. Like, I'm trying, oh my gosh, I can't get the light on. Hey, but look at all the glowing stuff on my desk. That's cool. I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amy Miller. I kind of sort of like having her around. All right. She's pretty cool sometimes.